Yeah, good day. Uh, just want to show you guys what I came up with. Um, uh, came up with the idea of using an auger engine, which I purchased on eBay as well as a, a, a chain pole saw, which I'm going to be using the extensions to hook up onto my prop and. This is the kayak I bought. Bought it for $350 from BCF. It's about a 2.7, 2.8 meters. Comes with a seat. Nice comfy seat. It's got a lot of room in the rear to uh, put some stuff in like a esky or maybe bait or fishing tackle. It's got two nice hatches probably around 10 inch or 8 inch hatches you can put in some tackle get a cup holder for your beers or a place where you can put your fish finder on it's got some drain plugs take them out for water to drain out and we got another one in the front and nice and they got nice seals on them so nice and watertight uh, comes with a set of oars which is a two-piece um, and we got a oar holder here where you can put your oars in strap them up so they you don't lose your oars um, yeah another two fish holders fishing rod holders at a rear all night near and nice and sealed up Got a nice built-in carry handle. That's where the motor mount is going to be going in. That I'm going to be be making out of fiberglass and aluminium and so on. Uh, we've got a drain plug here at the back to drain all the water out if you get water inside. Um, the drain plug. Obviously, the mount of the motor will go all on here and on this back portion here. I'm probably going to make a mold out of fiberglass fiberglass it all in uh, so then this this is the main thing I want to talk about is the motor so this is a, a Lumic earth auger motor MK 86 86 cc's two stroke basically it's just a big whippersnapper motor so that's the auger gearbox that's on it comes with the handles comes with throttle control uh, on off switch power switch the handles might be able to utilize the handles when I make the handle for the thing this gearbox part I won't be using that I'm gonna unscrew that bolts there that's for hauling the gearbox onto the engine then I bought this Giants brand motor that's the um, 65 cc engine I bought it just for the extensions so yeah we got all the extensions as you can see there's three extensions plus this is about oh, about a meter long um, this is the chainsaw where the chainsaw actually fits in I'll just open it up just to show you so that's where the chainsaw goes on and, and this chainsaw plate uh, with the oil reservoir. So that's where you put in the oil for the chainsaw. This is going to come off and this is going to be replaced with the actual head. So I'll show you now. Um, so this is the pole chainsaw model I bought. So it's red and black, gross weight 12 and a half kilos. It's a 65cc. Uh, it comes with a 12 inch chainsaw uh, plus a chainsaw uh, chain, safety glasses, protection cover, all the handles, some tools, fuel bottle, earmuffs, uh, some handle, uh, hand, some gloves. Um, the body strap to strap it around your body and onto the actual chainsaw 
Now this is the Earth Auger. This is the model MK86 motor. So it weighs about 12 kilos. Net weight is 10, 12 kilos. This is the, the prop I bought on AliExpress. So it's a seven and a quarter inch prop. Um, I'm gonna be cutting some of this excess off just to get some more water flow. Get some of this excess. It's got a nice seal there. Um, that will go straight on the front where the pole saw is. And that's, uh, that's a 20, 26 millimeters, I think. So this, this portion here will just come off. That's a uh, nine spline. And this as well, if you look on the inside, it's a nine spline. So that will go straight, bolt straight onto this shaft here. All I need to do is take this one off, loosen that bolt there, take that bolt out, loosen that bolt and it will slide off. Take the gearbox housing of the chainsaw off and then just attach the prop shaft, the prop uh, on and it should just work fine. Um, this is a, a left rotation prop. It's different from normal props. Normal props normally rotate clockwise. This one rotates anti-clockwise. Uh, it's got a 10 mil, about a 12 mil shaft, and it's uh, threaded. It's just a threaded shaft. So um, you bear with me. I'll uh, undo it, show you. So that screws, unscrews like a normal bolt, just anti-clockwise to undo it. So that's all threaded. Nice aluminium propeller, bought on AliExpress. That's 12 mil, all nice, fully sealed. It's got a bearing inside here, as well as a bearing inside there with a seal and a nine spline for the input shaft to go in. Um, so, screw this one back on again. Screw it on as clockwise. And that's it. We we'll probably will have to put some thread lock on it. So it doesn't come undone. I just use a blue thread lock. So the plan is to take this part off, the gearbox. This is exactly the same, same size fitting. I think it's about 101 or something. Um, we can take this throttle control off. I'm going to modify the throttle control. I'm going to just take this part off and put it on a bigger motor, which, which is the 86cc motor there. This is only a 65, so I'm going to run the 86 and then with that prop. And uh, already modified. You can look in here. You can see there where the air screw is. I had to sort of like dig it out and cut a little groove in it with a um, with a Dremel and tune the carburetors and I've done exactly the same with this one so I don't know if you can see that or that air screw there that's the air screw I turn it out um, that was a bit of a struggle to get it out but got it out at the end made a little groove with the dremel in it and fine tune it and i'm running this motors with 50 to 1 fuel to oil ratio 50 to 1 and i never had any issues running any of these motors with 50 to 1 so these motors will be going on the back obviously um some sort of like to give you an idea it will probably be sitting like that and it's going to be like a long shaft motor probably just going to run two ex one extension on it or maybe just the front portion uh, i can always whack in another extension to make it longer uh, or as long as i want it 
So I measured if I go about three, that will give me about two, uh, about 2.8 meters, almost three meters. So I'll show you the rest of the build when I'm all done with it. And yeah, hopefully it should work out pretty good for me. And thanks for watching. So cheers.